So I just wanted to have a quick vent session. Oh Lord. <laughs> a quick vent session on lessons in choosing wrong. What I have come to learn in dating or yeah, in dating, I'm just point blank period. What I have come to learn is, of course you learn, you're supposed to learn lessons in every connection that you have with a person. Um, and lessons that I am now adding to my, my list is, or are, first off, like my whole thing, the past couple of years has been, when I, yeah, like maybe the last two years or whatever, I pray the prayer, God, show me what I need to see about a person. Show me what I need to see. Show me if they're good for me. Show me what their intentions are. Show me if, you know, there are things about them that, you know, that would help me not to fall for them, help me not to like invest and waste time in them. Um, but I think what I have failed to add to that practice or add to that prayer is God also helped me to not be <laughs> blinded by the good qualities over the bad. Um, because sometimes <laughs> we'll pray the prayer, he'll show us what we need to see. And then it's like, we totally forget um, <laughs> that we start seeing stuff that tell us that ain't it, sis, right? And then I just, so I just came back from the store and I was like, I was stuffing my face with some chocolate that I did not need. And I was trying to back up. And as I was eating the chocolate, I had the chocolate in one hand and I was like using the steering wheel with the other hand and I back up. And I start trying to go forward, but I didn't realize I didn't put the car in reverse. So it's like when we're trying to go forward, if we got something sweet in our hand, it's going to distract us and we go keep going backwards. And I, <laughs> unfortunately, that happens a lot of times in, in relationships. We go backwards and... So yeah, that's my first lesson. My, the first lesson that I'm adding to the bucket or the list is that when I pray, God show me, God help me to not be blinded by the sweetness. Help me not to be blinded or help me to, when I do see it, to be firm in saying no, firm in saying that ain't it and moving on, going forward and not continuing to go in reverse. The other thing that I want to add to the list is if you begin to notice things about a person where they are not, they are not loving you in your love language, it's not a good match. If your love language, um, and they have quizzes for couples, they have quizzes for single people where that way you can kind of know, okay, what is it that I need in a relationship that's going to make me feel loved? And my love language, I think my top one is like um, acts of service, words of affirmation. Um, what is it? Acts, acts of service, words of affirmation. I can't remember my third ranking one. But anyways, it's not important. But, you know, just, and then other ones that people may have are, you know, gifts, like they love getting gifts or quality time. Oh, and affection, you know, so it's different things that people have where they rank higher than the other things on the list. But the, the problem that I have is sometimes I will still entertain people, even though they're not loving me in my love language. Or I notice signs about a person where I'm like, they did not. And especially if they know your love language and they continue to not act on the love language that's showing, in my opinion, 
that's to me showing me that you're not trying that you're not interested in loving me in my love language. You would prefer doing whatever it is you want to do to make yourself happy. Um, but I'm going to end with this. I absolutely love when God <clears throat> will show you stuff. Stuff you didn't, especially when you don't even ask for it. Like you could be crazy about somebody and you're like, oh my God, this is the one. And then there are physical manifestations. You'll find like pieces of paper or like you'll find like evidence. This is not like a spiritual type, oh, revelation. I mean, God works in that way too, but I'm talking about where <laughs> God will just be like, you know what? I'm going to really show you because you can't seem to get over this person. You can't seem to move forward and you steady going backwards. Let me just show you something. And show sure enough, <laughs> when that evidence pops up, you're like, oh, ooh, ooh. And that evidence, more than likely, is going to be something that's going to make you look at that person totally different. And I thank God for that. There was, like, years ago, this guy I was, like, super crazy about. I'm talking about, like, oh, my God. He was, like, everything, okay? And, like, we were trying to, we dated, like, a while ago. And then he popped back up, and we were trying to date again. And then... I remember I was following him on Instagram, his regular account. And then all of a sudden, like Instagram had this, <laughs> Instagram had this thing where you can find new friends on Instagram. So if a number is stored in your phone, it'll show you all of their accounts that are, that are linked to that number. Now, mind you, me and this guy are trying to talk. Okay, we were trying to talk. He was trying to get at me. He he wanted to get back with me. He wanted to date again. And he's like, he's not talking to anyone. He's not serious with anyone. And then one day I'm going through my Instagram and I see he had a second Instagram account. This second Instagram account was a couple's account. And you could see the dates and it was talking about power couple. And I just love her so much. And I'm like, ooh, who is this? And I can't remember if I screenshotted it and I sent it or if I made a comment up under it. Because, I mean, I wasn't tripping. I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm not going to let him see me sweat. But I was hurt. I was hurt because I really, really was into him. Um, but I think what I did was I sent... I Oh, I can't... Oh, I wish I could remember. But I, I know it was something... I did something petty. It was something petty. Like, I might have screenshot it, sent it, and said, Oh, congratulations. <laughs> and then his response was, I mean, it ain't nothing set in stone yet. And I'm like, dude, you're calling... <laughs> you're... you're he, we, he was calling them power couple. Power couple in Christ at that. It was, he was Christian. It beat them. It beat them Christian ones. I'm going to just end with that because that that's a, a new lesson. That's a new lesson. Just to be 100% honest. It That's something that I've really noticed. Like in my one of my last poems while I was talking about dudes, uh, fake, fake saints playing in church girl traffic. They'll come real heavy talking about they super Christian, take, talking about, you know, all things Christ and the Lord, and then certain things start popping up. Now, I'm not saying this to say I'm perfect because I'm not perfect. I still have things that I'm dealing with. But like I said, when those physical pieces of evidence pop up and you see, oh, wow. Yeah. And I'm still just kind of like, whoa. And I'm talking about, this is not like when you're around the person where stuff pops up and they do stuff. I'm literally talking about evidence that they leave behind. Like if they had a notebook and they left it or they left a piece of clothing or like, you know, when you guys are hanging around each other, I'm talking about straight up physical evidence where you're like, wow, bro.
You kidding me, bro? <laughs> like, but it's, you know, I mean, but that's, that's God. That's how God works because when you have a hard time, like, releasing yourself from somebody, God needs to to show you what you trying to hold on to, trying to show you what you thought you was so crazy about. But anyways, happy Saturday. Um, as always, I would love for you guys to join in the comments. Um, what lessons have you learned in choosing wrong? <laughs>